All right, now I'm gonna show you how to cast on. So, to cast on, first thing that you need to create is a slip knot. So each of these lengths are about a foot long. So I'm just gonna drape one end over the other to create a loop and pull that short end through the loop. And that creates And I'll a show you that knot. again. So two lengths, one over the other to make a loop and then bring that short end through the loop to create a slip knot. The reason why we want a slip knot is because it can tighten and loosen easily. So we can easily tighten it around something or pull it apart. The second step of casting on is gonna be putting that slip knot onto your needle, one of your needles, and tightening it. The hardest part of casting on has to be just initially getting your hand positioning right. So we're going to do that first. So my hand is, my thumb is parting the longer string and my pointer finger is parting the shorter string. So just do that to start. My other three fingers are grabbing onto that shorter string and then I'm going to also grab the longer string with my three other fingers. So that is your hand position. And as long as you have the hand position right, the next steps will be easy for you. I'm gonna repeat this process a lot of times, so don't worry. But the pattern for casting on another notch is as follows. Pick up from the thumb, pick up from the finger and through the hole. That's the pattern. And like I said, I'm gonna repeat that a couple more times. So pick up from the thumb, pick up from the finger and through the hole. And then after I put it through the hole, I'm pulling with my thumb to tighten those stitches. So right now I have three casted on. I want to cast on ten. So I'm going to do this ten more times, or seven more times. Pick up from the thumb, pick up from the finger, and through the hole. Pull with the thumb. Pick up from the thumb, pick up from the finger, and through the hole. All right, here I have my 10 stitches. So the stitches, how many you cast on determines how wide your knitting is. We're just gonna start out with 10, but if in the future you wanted to make something wider, like a wider scarf, you do more stitches. All right, so starting to knit, with your other needle, you're going to go behind that first stitch, like a cross, just like that. Then you're going to take your long string, make sure it's your long string, not your short string, and you'll wrap around the top of the cross counterclockwise. Holding that wrap around, you're gonna come down with the top of the cross and then back up on the front. And then you slide that off. If that was a bit confusing, don't worry. I'm gonna repeat that a bunch of times. So again, sliding in the back of that first stitch, wrapping around counterclockwise, coming down with that needle, coming up from the front, and sliding that stitch that you just created off. So coming from the back, wrapping the yarn around, bringing that newly formed loop down and back up to the front of the needle and off. And now I'm just gonna continue this till I reach the end of the row.